Hey guys, it's Eric. This is Vanda. We are d and Miniature and Board Games. Joan of Arc Siege! You want to see what's inside? Stay tuned. So, Joan of Arc Siege. This was Wave 2 of Joan of Arc. This is the reason that I pledged for Joan of Arc. What's in the box? Oh, I want to see that then. But I, I actually this, I kind of know. This I sold know. me on Joan of Arc right here. And this is a big box, folks. You, look at this. Look at the size of this it's box. Huge. This is not small at all. It's like both of us in that thing. So, frame. Yeah. But as we said earlier or before, on the first wave, we were not disappointed. We were actually pleased. And we just got done with uh, the uh, legendary battles. Correct. And just, there was so much in that. Just the same. Are you ready? Am I ready? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Maybe Eric needs help. Oh. All right. Let's start Wait. pulling out boxes here. We have to um, tell them too about the boxing or their packaging. You know what? We I have, have unboxed a lot of Kickstarters and I have to say that Mythic Games uses every square inch of their box right. in their packing. Everything Wisely. is perfectly in there. Wisely. Yeah, so everything fits. Oh. Alright. There's even a bag. Another baggie. So one of these will probably be in English, and one of these should be not. So there's the French one over there. Alright, so the Siege Overview gives you what Siege is overview. coming in there, and gives you the new rules for the different uh, mm -hmm. Siege equipment, the castle, then you've got your different it's campaigns, nice. scenarios, however you want to play it. And nice artwork. I like it. I like well, the Well, they stick artwork. with the theme, even with the rule book, you know? Alright, so with this we also have, obviously, a new hex map. Hex map! Some more to counters or tokens, or however you want to call them. Tokens. These things are so well die cut, they're actually falling out. <laughs> That's all that. That's it. Okay. Box. Let's see what's inside the first of four boxes inside the box. I'm excited. I am all excited. All right. All right. So this set comes with the short walls pack. Jeez, it's heavy. And you've also got uh, the damaged wall sections here. Now these are designed with a curved part to go to the towers. Mm -hmm. Or you've got your flat part where you can put two shorts together. Correct. There should also be in the in here somewhere there should be uh, long walls. Your archers there. Nice. Really detailed. Actually, it's going to hurt. How much is it going to hurt? It's going to hurt. This is going to hurt. The throw. <laughs> it's beautiful. All right, Eric, move along. Move along. Move it. All right. Next box. So, castle? you have your keep. God, look at that. And, obviously, 
eventually we get our towers and these are probably the tops of the towers and your siege tower now these do have new cards um oh and more wooden palisades you do get more cards with siege we're not going to go through all the cards because really honestly we know if you're sitting here watching this, the only thing you care about is this well, castle. Well, I'm quite familiar with the cards anyway. I mean, it's going to be like, you know, I can only imagine. Oh, my God. And, and what it looks like set up. Yes, yes. And then, you know, you can have your All right. figures. So, we have our... Now, these are the parts that the archers stand behind. Um... I move up to the castle during the siege. You have your ram. You have trebuchets. Trebuchet. Which actually, look at this. Who would have thought? It's movable. <laughs> hmm. That's a nice little piece of detail, oh, look, actually. I gotta touch it. Uh, you got your early cannon. You got your bolt throwers. You got a. Uh, Different style cannon. You've got two basically different two different types of cannons in here. Yikes, this is gonna hurt. And then in here is obviously you have archers? No, these are the guys with the little like the little hand blasters. No, I can't remember what they're called. But you have okay, it there. Okay, okay, hand blaster, little people. What do you call it? <laughs> It would be Are you talking about those this guys one? there. The husk cabbages. And then you have three bags with, oh, we do have the four guys with pikes, little picks, the, zap, the sappers. sappers. And then obviously you have your crews for the artillery and the catapult and stuff like that. All right, so to keep your wins. The long walls, the short walls, the towers, two gate houses. That's oh, the gate houses. We haven't even. They haven't pulled out the last. <gasps> okay, that would be the six towers. So, you have your long walls. You have your gates. Gate houses. You have your towers. Now I'm going to assume. Those can fit up on there if you want them there. Yes. Or even on top of those. Or in your head. Yeah, well, if you want them on your head. So, if you take one of the short walls, which, by the way, your curved ends is on two different sides of this. So, And then you have a short one there if you want it, and one another one round tower. tower, like so. And your round towers can make up your uh, edges, so you could always put one uh, like okay, so. so. This is so cute. Not no, cute. They're, they're wonderful. They're awesome. I do those are short. Eric started playing, um, and <laughs> well, I'm just showing how this stuff all goes can go together. I know. I mean, you know. I know, but you can't help it, but put it together. You really can't. That's I mean, what's going on here because it's so awesome. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Just put it in the middle. <laughs> Makes you want to have your 316, you know, the figure of yourself. And then you put yourself in there. Nice. Yes, because you're the. Wow. Wow. What can I say? And these are your short walls. Those are the long walls. These are the short ones. Oh, that's the short one. Okay. Which, if you notice, the short ones, they have two different types. They have... Oh, no. It's all the same. All the short have these 
uh, the covered spots for your crossbowmen or your archers. And then you have your normal walls here where you can have troops standing behind. That's right. That's right. Siege is actually a very large set. This is actually very, very actually impressive. It is. It is. And I can imagine it. And I can see it. I can see everybody enjoying playing this. Imagine painting this. This actually wouldn't be very hard. No, I know. It would really be nice if just paint it. You know, the whole thing, you know, that would really be nice. You know, my wife has a thing with paint everything. Why not? And people actually no wait. Way. There's no way because she has so much. There's because really we're no gamers. way. We keep buying. No, no, no. Some people, they actually paint their stuff. Yeah. They just buy it and put it in the shelf. And yeah. But it would be really nice if it's painted and, you know, while we're playing it. Kidding aside, it's real. It's going to be nice. And that that's not going to be hard anyway, that's for sure. No, because in all Those honesty, figures all honesty with these, except for a little bit of a different color on the buildings and things, you could actually get, like, a stone gray, spray this with stone gray, yeah, hit it with a it. null oil or even a quick shade from War Paints or an oil from Citadel, or even one of your homemade washes to get in the crevices, and this is, would be pretty much done. There is not a lot to painting this style of a 15 millimeter castle. Um, and who knows, maybe I will. Because uh, this is why I bought this Kickstarter, was this castle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, so we'll see. I, Stick around, had, folks. And had they allowed you to just buy Siege, I probably would have just bought Siege. Maybe. We'll have a, a video or pictures or whatever just to show you the, the end product of the painted castle and everything that comes with it. But as always, everybody, support your local gaming. We support Discover Games, Fayetteville, Georgia. Game on, everybody. Game on.